which is how to play Hercules in Smite 2. Hercules is the definition of Bruiser God. He's an absolute beast when he's swinging his massive club around, and with all that strength he's packing, you can be sure that he's going to toss all the gods around on that battlefield. So let's dive into his kit and find out what he's got. His passive is Apotheosis. Hercules gains strength when he damages an enemy god. This can stack up to three times and last five seconds. And additionally, Hercules gains one stack of Apotheosis from his abilities and two stacks from his ultimate. At four stacks, Hercules is then empowered and immediately subtracts two seconds from all of his cooldowns and provides additional strength, protection, and a cleaving basic attack. And the best part about this is once Hercules enters his empowered state, his character physically becomes bigger and you're just an absolute beast on the battleground. You can see here the sheer size difference of Hercules when he's in his empowered state. He also has this flaming effect on him. The first ability you want to get on Hercules is Driving Strike. Hercules dashes forward, dealing, dealing physical damage, stunning, and pushing back enemies that are hit. Hercules' second ability is Earthbreaker. Hercules smacks the ground, sending broken earth in front of him, and at the very end of this ability, it will knock enemies up back to you. And while the enemies are in the air, they are damageable, so you can get, you can get an auto attack in between the knockup. Just make sure you're close enough to do it. Although landing this auto attack isn't necessarily the easiest thing to do. You gotta get it kinda just right. And something to note about this ability that is changed from Smite 1 to Smite 2 is now. You can see the pathing on this ability, where that line is. Before in Smite 1, the ability would roll forward throughout the entire line. Now, when you hit the ground, it rolls forward until that line, and then from that line on, it's an instant cast at that point. So you don't need to worry about timing your ability past that line. Hercules' third ability is Mitigated Wounds. As soon as you use this ability, you are healed instantly and gain attack speed and protections for 4 seconds. At the end of the duration, you are healed again for a percentage of the damage you take during this ability. So this is a good ability to pop on right before you go into the fights, or if you just want to spam some healing, it's also good for that. Hercules' ultimate is Excavate. You pick up a massive boulder from the ground, chucking it at enemies, and upon the first hit, this will knock up enemies, as well as the boulder will bounce around walls for extra damage. Now, Hercules is excellent to play in a couple different roles, but I've personally been having a lot of fun playing him in the jungle, although he's also very strong in solo, and I haven't seen him in support, but I'm confident that he will do very well in support. So here's the build for him if you want to take him into the jungle. First item is Boomba's Cudgel, Jotun's Revenge, Hydra's Lament, Pendulum Blade, and then the last three items, you, I kind of change it up fairly often, so you, you can fit a different bunch of different things in there, but if you're started with the first three items, make sure you get a little bit of penetration into this build. So items like Heartseeker, and Brawler's Rune are good to pick up. And depending on the game, I also like to pick up Breastplate of Valor just because it gives you that protections to be extra tanky along with the cooldown rate on this just makes Herc an absolute savage. And then of course, for your Relic, you're going to the Rune. Make sure you give Herc a try, and if you find other items that work really well on him, let me know in the comments. 